All right, so Destroy Lonely has had an amazing, amazing rookie year. And some people are even comparing it to Playboy Cardi's Rookie of the Year. And at the same time, they're honestly signed at the same label, or technically Playboy Cardi signed Destroy Lonely. But anyways, this, um, Ian Dior actually made a tweet out early last year of 2022 saying, Destroy Lonely better than Cardi in his rookie year. And that was right before No Stylist came out. And then Ian, Ian Connor then tweeted, Understand me now? And that was, you know, early this year. So the debate's up. So in my opinion, I think it's actually pretty close. Obviously, Playboy Cardi didn't have as many tools as Destroy Lonely did. And the reason I'm saying that is because Destroy Lonely has all of Opium and the name of Opium behind his back, if you know what I'm saying. You know, just like being part of Opium, Opium just, just proves like you're solidified in the game automatically. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's just do a little comparison of self-titled and I'll just do a quick little review of it compared to self-titled and Destroy Lonely is No Stylist. So location, 10 out of 10. Magnolia, easy 10 out of 10. Looking, 10 out of 10. Woke up like this, 10 out of 10. Let it go, 11 out of 10. Half and half. That one's starting to grow with me over the years. Probably like a 9. New Chop out of 10. Other shit. Like a nine, number nine, like a seven. It's still kind of mid to me. Do that shit, it's a ten. Lame niggas, that's definitely a ten. Y'all mean, that's a ten. Flex, that's a ten. Kelly K, that's like a nine. And had to, it's like a seven. So that's just kind of like my review. And, you know, like that album is pretty good. And I think it's still better than Destroy Lonely's No Stylist, if we're going to do a comparison right now. Like No Stylist, Jet Lag, 10 out of 10. Borodorf, like a 7. Love My Game, that's like a 10. Super good. Vietnamese Co, 10. No Stylist, 10. Fake Niggas, 10. Soren, 10. Turn It Up, like a 10. Number 9, or I guess Lonely. The song Lonely, I didn't really like that one. That one was like a 6. Pressure, it's like a 6. On My Table, like a 10. And then um, SWG School, that's like a 7. Crystal Castle is a 10. Dangerous is like a 6, a 10. Uh, make It Stop, like a 9. On the Floor, like a 10. Pass Around, like a 9. OTW, like a 7. And a Veteran, like a 10. So it's still pretty close, but I'll definitely say Self Titled by Playboy Cardi is just quite a bit better than No Stylist. But then again, Self Titled just had so long to grow. And you can actually compare the projects very similarly because, like, Playbook Hardy definitely influenced a lot of people with the project self titled. And those stylists by Destroy Lonely is already influencing so many artists, or even just Destroy Lonely's leaks and everything like that. And just the sound is very influential, like Dom Corleo, Hard Rock, um, Rolling Thrax, you know what I mean? A lot of those people, even Southside Silhouette. Dom Corleo, like all of those people all have the whole Destroy Lonely kind of style and, you know, influence. So they're both pretty influential artists because right now everybody just sounds like Destroy Lonely. And at one point everybody sounded like Cardi. And then even right now a lot of people sound like Cardi after the album, a whole lot of red. Just look at all these, you know, Instagram ads of people just rapping over a whole lot of red type beats. Not to mention Yeats Project up to me he was using a whole lot of red type beats on that to really blow up his career but honestly i would say destroy lonely probably had a bit of a stronger rookie year than playbook card and only because only because he has better tools and obviously Playbook Cardi sold way more than destroy lonely i think destroy lonely sold around 10k or less than 10k first week and self-titled by Playbook Cardi sold 28k. So it just depends how you really look at it. Because after No Stylist, so many people are using that ambient sample-based beats in the underground. So, you know, in hindsight, you would say Playbook Cardi. But in my opinion, the core right now, I would say this, I kind of agree with Ian Connor. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole situation is Ian Connor tripping out? Is he like capping? Is he high? You know what I mean? But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like this video, subscribe, and send this to all the Play Bacardi fans and Destroy Lonely fans. Thank you for watching, man. Peace out.